We're out in the greenhouse today doing a ton of work. I've got a whole bunch of scrap wood, free wood burning and wood chips and stuff, all free resources and we're using that heat but all of that heat is kind of stagnated down here without some extra systems to move it around. So what I'm doing is actually drying bricks with the heat from our stove and drying up the air in here and letting some humidity and moisture out. So we're going to be taking heat from our stove, blowing it through the flags of these bricks and moving it down through this little DC inline blower. Now if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, smash that like button, let's get into this. So we're down here on these flags and we are pulling air right through the flags, the holes in the bricks, right through this flex culvert, through our DC inline blower, and we're pushing it down towards these bricks and it's spreading it through the entire greenhouse. Let's make our connections here. down over these bricks that little thing is loud it's kind of hard to hear but we're basically cycling warm air all the way down and it is forcefully blowing air all the way back here so we are definitely drying these bricks out they are going to be dry we're spreading lots and lots of heat through the whole floor of the greenhouse as it rises it's exchanging and it is warming up in here very quickly with this simple little 12 volt fan, inline fan here. Very simple to set up, and it's not a permanent fixture, it's just a little experiment, but this is going to be something that I'm building for next year. We're going to build a nice thermal mass over on this side, and we're going to use some type of system. That is super loud. We're gonna use some type of system, just like this, in order to store a ton of heat on those really really cold nights as opposed to just moving it around and drying bricks and stuff so we'll be using all of that basically underneath our bench here and blowing it into a thermal mass on this side so i really just wanted to share with everybody that simple little tactic for moving a ton of air and this brick is going to just hold that heat for quite some time these bricks are going to continually be sitting at 110 to 120 30 so as long as that fire's going, those bricks will be warm for a few hours afterwards. This was just another simple, quick way to move some extra heat and to use it in more ways than one. We're drying the greenhouse up, we're drying our bricks up over here, and we're going to be able to dry them a lot faster than normal, especially with the high humidity in the greenhouse right now. In winter time, we really don't open the door as much, but when we get these temps up inside the greenhouse, we can pick up all of that moisture into the air and basically just open the doors for like half an hour, let it vent, and then we can seal the doors up and warm it back up again without losing any crops here so we can basically just vent all that moisture after we pick it up into the airspace and we are sitting 59 degrees we were 45 overnight and we had a temp of 12 degrees overnight so we are doing pretty darn good in the greenhouse just wanted to share that quick one right there before I get into a longer video here so any questions you know where to drop them and thank you guys for watching